Good morning, Zions of High School. I'm Dax. And I'm Logan. And, and this, this is the Harbinger, Harbinger Headlines. Headlines. Senior of the Week this week is Carmen Dew, nominated by Mrs. Wilson. She said some of Carmen's peers are remote and Carmen brings the coffee cart around for them. The peers are on Zoom on the iPad and she does a great job making sure they get the full customer service experience despite their not being present in the building. Carmen has such a heart for service. Congratulations, Carmen. Please go to the office for your prize. Class of 2021, senior class yard signs are now available on the senior class canvas page for purchase for $10. Click on the link in the main page or in the announcements to place your order. Orders will be taken until next Tuesday. Now to Jack with sports. Hey Eagles, we'd like to start off by congratulating the girls varsity softball team as they won their home opener against Hamilton Heights 14-5. We'd also like to congratulate the Lady Eagles on beating 11-12-2 this last Wednesday. Finally, we'd like to wish luck to the boys lacrosse team on their game against Carmel next week in hopes to bounce back from their loss against Garrett. And don't forget, baseball season is upon us, and our varsity baseball team will be hosting their opener next Tuesday against Carmel. Don't forget to go out and support your Eagles. Thanks, Jack. Now a special segment on Youth Art Month. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jolly, teacher in the Fine Arts Department, and I want to talk a little bit about Youth Art Month. Uh, Youth Art Month started in the late 60s, early 70s as a national campaign to help promote arts in communities around the nation. It started focusing on elementary students but as it evolved, they saw the interest and need to build formatting to bring arts in arts to the community for everyone from K through 12. About 10 years ago, our art departments all at all of the Zionsville schools got together and decided that we should do a community-wide art show. Instead of focusing on the work of our students at our particular school, we took art into the community, and we're still doing those shows. Unfortunately, with COVID this year, we've downscaled the, the exhibitions. We have two locations where you'll find actual artwork on display. One is Sullivan Months. Graciously, they are still open, and they have work from kindergarten through 12th grade hung up there. And down the opposite end of Zionsville at Goodman Jewelers, you will find a few smaller pieces on display from all of the schools in our school district. We like doing this show because it is so open to our community. Often we only see people in our school for events like sporting events or events at the PAC and not all of our display areas are seen by the community. So it's a nice way to help show off the talents of all of our students from middle school, elementary school, and high school to everyone in Zionsville. We really appreciate the support and we are very, very proud of our high school students' work. 2021 prom plans have been announced. If you'd like to find out more information, please see the Canvas announcements on your class Canvas page or the Harbinger Instagram for specifics. Ticket sales will begin March 29th and remain open for only juniors and seniors until April 8th. Please see the prom website often for updates as things might change due to the pandemic, capacity concerns, or weather this year. Need a corsage or a boutonniere for the prom? See the prom website and prom board for details on how to order them. The prom fund receives a portion of all purchases. On the headlines, recently we haven't had a student sign-off. If your sport, club, or class would like to do sign-off, please visit the Google Form link in the video description or on our Instagram bio. Now to Dax with weather. Rain it! Thanks, Dax. Next Tuesday is National Doctor's Day. Where does a boat go when it's sick? To the dock. Thanks for watching. <laughs>